Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to look at a case which doesn't come up often, but is a little bit confusing when it does. Like, sometimes we have a string that contains a number that we're interested in. See, 1, 2, 3 is in this string here, and we want it, so we say pass integer. This is nice and simple, and we get the value 1, 2, 3 back, which is excellent. However, sometimes we get the value as a character. So here's a character here, and this is the character 7. So this isn't a number seven, this is a character like if we would just got it out of a string. We want just this as a number. How do we do that? Well, it turns out that the, um, the predicate digit char actually does double duty. Not only will it return um, nil if it's not a digit, okay, let's, let's step back. It's gonna return true if the thing it's passed is a character which is also a digit. So one of the kind of one of the, the numbers. Um, in a given base, and that's going to be important as well. So here we're passing in the character 7, and it returns 7 as a number. Now, of course, this is not nil, therefore it's true, so you can use this in conditionals. But this is the bit we wanted, right? We passed in the character 7, and we got back the number 7. This also works well if you want to specify the radix or the base that you're working in. So maybe um, we're in base 16, and then we pass in the character f, and then we get back to the number 15, which is correct in hexadecimal, f is 15. So, it's a little strange that this uh, predicate is doing double duty like this, but it's also very useful. So if you ever need to pass a character to a number, digit char it is. See you in another little bit of Lisp.